This is Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV, Competitive Team Fortress 2, and it is time to get whipped into shape by the good old farmer soldier, because we are about to watch the gorgeous gamers versus the best crew in Starfleet. It's going to be uh, Fleet versus GG. I'm going to try and call them that. And you can see the rosters here real quick. I'm not going to go down them too much because we have gone over, uh, we have at least gone over the ga I'm sorry, the gorgeous gamers roster before. Now you do see Basic, actually. This is the Basic who has played a couple seasons of Invite now as Medic and Soldier. And he's over on the other team, on Fleet. We'll have to see who wins this one, because I gotta tell you, the Gorgeous Gamers, um, they tend not to really know how to play Highlander. I, that's, that's kind of a charitable interpretation. Now this is actually a post-produced cast as well, I want to point out that uh, this is camera work of Rune. And we do have, of course, a picture of our demo man there for the Defenders right now. That's uh, going to be Fleet's demo man, Litany, laying down a nice little sticky trap in case somebody tries to jump their med. Uh, it's going to be interesting, though. So Rune helped make this video for me, so I'm, I'm kind of cold casting it, but Rune has already found all the best moments. Um, and I, I went through and looked to see if he caught a couple of the things that somebody told me about. And he did! So I'm happy. Um, what I'm not happy with so far is the scoreboard, but you know, we'll work on that. Uh, of course, this, this is used in Sony Vegas, so if you know anything about Sony Vegas, I mean, let me know. But right away, the uh, gorgeous gamers, it's time for them to be on offense. Demo Man immediately jumping in. He sees a sticky trap, but he also sees, you know, a heavy shooting at him, and that sucks. So he dies. Sentry gun does get taken down by the offense of this Litany laying down some damage on the mini sentry. And he's got to be careful about this uh, heavy here. He's doing actually a lot of good damage. He's finally get taken out, but not before killing a Yogg of her. Which I assume is like a Jennifer, except with a little bit more Yogg to it. Uh, we do have some fight going on all over the place. And it does look like Truck Truck has decided he wants to go for some saps and stabs, but he totally screwed that one up. I think he got a... he did get a kill there, maybe, but the sentry is still up and still running. It's going to be tough for Gorgeous Gamers to get anything done right now. And we do have Sea Bear Cam. So he's trying to sneak around behind, maybe go for some kind of a mini sentry play up top. But DL Man, I have heard some nasty things about DL Man, and by nasty I mean he's really good at this game. So we're going to see him come in and immediately go for a stab. He doesn't quite get the med yet, but he's going to start chasing down. And this is Banny on the medic. Pretty darn crazy, but Banny uh, does, of course, use those needles to try and activate that dead ringer. He's going to have to be careful. The spy is still coming after him. And he's up top right now. Nobody really notices he's... Oh, no, I think they do notice. Goodbye, DL man. Sorry, you can have face plant in there, but that's okay. It's okay. We still love you. Those look like some good skills going down by KBK, who is on the heavy. KBK normally playing Medic. But he is now on the heavy for this round of the Gorgeous Gamers playing. Uh, they, they tend to not use their main classes too much, but I, I will say that when they when the going gets tough, they sometimes will put somebody like Banny on Devil Man, and then he just completely wrecks everyone. DL Man already back in position using that teleporter, and this time around he does get the stab on Banny. Gonna go for the stab on the card as well, not quite able to get it though, and no, you cannot stab a heavy as much as you may want to. Interesting uh, Uber coming in here from Kree. He's just trying to stop this cart from moving forward for as long as possible, but Lansky getting on top of him. Lansky used to play Soldier in Invite, and he has now, of course, gotten the kill on the med. It's going to be an important kill. He does get taken down by the sentry, but it doesn't matter too much. And now we've got um, all the medic heavy love fest going on here in 2012. KBK not quite able to make that jump around the right hand side, so they're going to be a little bit slowed down, have to walk through the trenches, but it doesn't matter. The cart finally gets gotten after two minutes and eight seconds. Not the greatest time for the first point, but it's not terrible. And, and we've got a crit streak, so this is important. Glad we're seeing this camera work because it is crit time for the offense. The gorgeous gamers, they want to deal a lot of damage. They've got the Tyler cam right now. It looks like he may take the crits, but they're kind of jumping across. It looks like they may want to go for a flank, and this might not work as well as their hope. Oh, there's, they could crit so many people right now. And they do take down a litany. Diggy gets taken out by a headshot, actually. Not a lot of other damage going on, though, and they haven't gotten creeps. So they really, that was not the greatest crits that could have ever happened. Tyler getting slapped up against the rocks now, and Truck Truck misses the medic, so he's not, uh, he's not too happy about that. Gorgeous Gamer is still not working too well. Now, one thing I will say, though, is that when you hear, you know, if you've been listening to me and Seabear on the podcast we do, Fully Charged, which you totally should, um, Seabear talked about this game, and he said that his team really likes to kind of watch what the enemy team does on defense. They hardly ever even scrim at all. They just get into the game and they play. They watch what the other team does on defense and on offense, and they copy that, and they just do it better. That's, that's kind of what they want to do, and so... First round tends not to go their way at all. I mean, in, in all the games of gorgeous gamers I have casted, their first round is always atrocious. Uh, because they've got really good DM, and they can get really good headshots and all that kind of stuff, but uh, they just don't have the positioning down. But they'll figure it out, usually. They're a very adaptable team. They've played Invite for a long time. It's now Biggie versus... Who is that? Sleepyhead. Another one of them really getting anything going on right now. But uh, they, they are 
pressuring each other, trying to make sure that they stay on their toes. Shermanstein Gluck taking the uh, top route. He does take down Hero. A nice kill. Hero is, of course, a very good soldier, so for him to get owned up there, uh, got to make him feel a little bit bad that he didn't realize that was the topography of the map. But Sherman Stein Gluck is making sure he gets healed up there. He's going to be an Uber probably coming in from Banny. He's very close to it right now. They want to drop down, find the uh, find the sentry, and take that out, I think. I think. They haven't done it yet, so we've got Sleepyhead going for the shot. He takes down the Medic. Nice shot on Creep. That's going to be Sleepyhead with a beautiful headshot there to help his team push in. There's going to be no Uber to counter this at all. A great Uber on to Tyler right now, who is playing the Demo Man. He's doing a pretty good job of it. Laying down damage all over the place. Stops that scout from getting to the health pack. He's going for the kill on this spy now, too, although not quite in the builds he wants to. But that cart should get pushed to the second point. They shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, now that they are pushing their opponents back to their spawn, now they've got to deal with DL Man. DL Man can't stop the cap. He actually takes down the... Uh, <laughs> he's going for the stab on that sniper. I'm not sure if you realized it was a Razorback there, or maybe he just totally forgot what the Razorback actually does. Because you just don't see it very often in competitive. It's not actually a very useful thing. But it was useful there. I mean, that's... That might be the only time I've ever casted a Razorback getting stabbed and saving the sniper. He's trying to sap that, uh, that heavy again. Now, it could just be that he's pulling out a secondary weapon, like, you know, and then pressing B to switch weapons. It's a common thing. You might see that. But, oh my god, Sherman Slimeclerk taking on Sleeping Head and Banny. And that is going to mean that there's going to be no Uber for quite a while. The bomb is still getting a little bit close to second point. Litany taken down by Seabear. So that's, that's kind of going to suck for him, actually, that uh, his team is not going to have him. They're not going to have a lot of defense. All right, now we are looking at a metal pole, okay? <laughs> they can't all be winners. But it, this pretty much is a win video right now, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of action going on, and Tyler taking down a sentry gun, so that does mean that the cart should get pushed closer and closer. Yogafer trying to get out here and let them know they're going to have to stay off that cart unless they really put a good push together. And Creep is at 100% right now. So that Uber is going to be ready to stop this cart whenever, as long as Truck Truck doesn't get here behind and kill them. Truck Truck is still alive, though, and I think he is decloaking pretty soon. So, oh, there he is. Watch out. Watch out. Basic finds him. I think, uh, yeah, actually, they did run into him and spot him. So Truck Truck is dead. I'm sorry, Truck. A lot we can do about that. Truck Truck was actually on the last episode of podcast, so you probably should listen to him, because he's cool. He's an awesome guy. Right now, the time, of course, 4.39, and it's it's still ticking down here for Gorgeous Gamers. It's not the world's best time. It's not like a, you know, three-minute Badwater round by any stretch. But Swiftwater's a tough map to push, so it's not it's not the worst time I've ever seen either. Benny with the sick dodges, but he's got to watch out for the Spy who's getting on him right now. This looks like that Spy will actually get taken down. I'm trying to use the Dead Ringer, but DL Man is down for the count here. It's actually the first time I... No, it's the second time we've seen him die. Maybe the third. Whatever. Spies are supposed to die. They die a lot. They're still doing their job to get a couple stabs. And the Uber comes in on the Pyro. Interesting Pyro Uber. Um, Dave AC, of course, pretty good at whatever he does. But I'm not sure if Pyro Uber is the best choice there. There is still a sentry up. Not a lot of dead players in the red team. And now Banny is in trouble. Oh, gets killed by the Axe. Yogafer axes him a question right before he gets to the uh, health kit there. So the Gorgeous Gamers are having difficulty pushing. That's uh, it's not a surprise right now. Dave AC having difficulty figuring out which way to go and which door is open and which ones don't. So that does tell you, yeah, they haven't practiced this map a lot. So they're figuring it out as they go, which which I gotta say is pretty impressive for them being in Platinum. And, and their, their record, they've won most of their games so far. The only game I think they've lost is actually against Bonus. Uh, bonus points crushed them on Lakeside and they were not able to do anything about it. But, you know, um, Fleet seems like they're actually getting in position to crush them as well, because I'm liking the style of play that Fleet has. Now, they do lose their Engineer here, and Lansky have to kill on Count Pound you the yeah, so that's the ending. So, they are in a little bit of trouble. DL Man still trying to sneak around behind, but he ended up going to get taken down by our Soldier. And KPK's got to be a little bit careful about this, because there is a Sniper, I think, trying to smack him a new one. But the Sap is on now. Truck Truck did his job there. The Sentry's going to go down. And at this point, they should be able to push the cart. Now, they do seem to be stopped a little bit, but KBK coming in with the Uber, this is what they needed to do. Now, the Uber is popped for the red team as well, but they're not going to be able to save everyone here, especially not that Pyro Engineer. And losing your Engineer, that's a bad thing on Swiftwater. You do not want your Engineer to be dead. So KBK actually gets out of that, too. I thought he was going to die. He got down to, like, 20 health, but you know what? He's okay. And now we have Lancey coming in for the kills, taking down Litany. He's going to go for the kill on the Sniper, who's not paying any attention to him. So, you know, free, free kill. Stat padding for Lansky. That's all right. And the cart will now get capped. I don't think there's anything uh, Red Team can do about this. The best crew in Starfleet are unable to really stop this. Lansky thinking about going for the milk there to try and uh, track down DL Man, but no, instead he's just going to go for the milk on the heavy. Oh! 
Not quite working out for him, though. You're not able to deal damage fast enough to recover that health when the heavy is, like, spun up and shooting directly at you. Especially not in close quarters. Like, it's it's easier as a scout if you want to go with the heavy to have him out, you know, caught out out in the open. That's not what happened there. Now Sea Bear pushing forward, though. He's got to be a little careful as well, but he's got a mini sentry set up, just trying to keep his team pushing forward, and this is actually a really good setup. You want to make sure your team is way ahead of the cart, and I think the Gorgeous Gamer is starting to realize that. Uh, but that's kind of how you play Payload. You keep your team ahead of the cart as much as possible, and you keep one or two players so that it's at times three the entire time. Uh, right now Sea Bear is, of course, playing that role, sitting on the cart. We're going to see what the defense looks like, and right now it doesn't look like anything, actually. There's only four players left alive for the red team, a few more respawning. And the Heavy is looking to get a kill, but no, there goes the, the Milk, and that's actually going to force him backwards. Uh, the Milk doesn't do any damage, but it does cause the enemy Heavy to heal every time he takes a shot at him. And that's really bad. Oh my god, Tyler! Getting some sick pill kills here, and so this cart is going to get capped on the fourth point very quickly. Plus, you look how far ahead they are. They're practically spawn camping their opponents right now. This is the gorgeous gamers that you want to see. Fleet's having some trouble now. They're uh, they're getting pushed really far back, and they're going to need a miracle to try and get out here and properly defend this. My only question right now is where the blue team is actually set up on offense. It looks like we are going to go check that out right now. The defense might have a little bit of a reprieve to set up. Um, yeah, it looks like Banny and Tyler are both taken out. So that's actually really good for our defenders. I don't know what Banny and Tyler were the only ones doing up there. It's not going to work out too well for them. Because now they're going to have super disadvantage. They're going to have to deal with the sentry coming up. And there's no spam coming at that sentry. So that engineer is actually not feeling, uh, not feeling the heat at all. The scout was feeling the heat, though. He got taken down. And we do have actually a lot of players getting killed. They did manage to take down a Yogafer. But that doesn't matter too much as... The geographer was out there kind of playing the roaming pyro anyway, and there's not a spy left to attack right now, so they don't even need a spy check. The cart is right in that little hallway, but it doesn't matter, you know, this little toilet bowl area, I guess you could call it. Um, it doesn't matter if the blue team can't take on that sentry, because the sentry will guaranteed cover the entire cart. You, you can't even, like, crouch behind it, it won't work very well. Seabear getting taken down by the Dread Pirate Romeo, or Romeo, I don't know. Uh, is, is that a reference to something? Because I actually don't know. I feel bad about that. Oh, the ambush heavy, though. you got to love heavies who can actually take these ambush routes. When they're not spotted, it is huge. And Dread Pirate Romeo, he is on a rampage right now. He's almost finished off uh, Tyler over there. Tyler grabbing a health kit down from 15 health left. So the Dread Pirate Romeo feeling good about this one. Oh, taking down Dave AC as well. And now, a little bit of damage coming in from Lansky. But that doesn't matter too much, and once again, we've got a sniper not able to walk through those doors. <laughs> Guys, figure this map out. Come on, just, it, all you have to do is practice, like, once. You know, get together before, whatever. They probably practiced once. I don't know. I'll see there. Figure it out. Uh, but, um, I want to say LG, but no, it is, of course, Gorgeous Gamers, not Leviathan Gaming, which is similar. But no, the Gorgeous Gamers are still having difficulty. They need to get their Uber up, and they need to actually take enough ground so they can use the Uber to push the sentry. Um, there is actually kind of a, a double choke in between the blue team and the sentry right now. And that means if they want to... Ooh! If they want to get into the sentry, they have to take down that first choke first. They actually have to get in there without taking too much damage. Kill DL Man, which is kind of nice. But yeah, they have to get in there without taking too much damage. And then use the, uh, use the Uber past the second choke point so they can actually accomplish something. So far, it looks like they should be able to get into this first choke too, uh, kind of unmolested. And Banny's got the Uber, so here you go. They are actually going to be able to get into the sentry, I think. There you go. They popped the Uber, but no, there's a pyro here. He's going to blast it back, and they aren't able to get into it at all. This Uber is going to be completely worthless, and you see Banny already deciding to retreat. That is a uh, good medic play right there from Banny. Sleepyhead looking for that kill, and he gets it through the window. Actually, tries to kill DL Man as, there as well, but DL Man is still alive and kicking. Sleepyhead, though, is still looking for some shots as well. Trying to save his med here, and he takes down Biggie! So the Biggie was actually looking at the med. Could have gotten a fully charged body shot off on Banny, and that would have been really bad, but nice save by, uh, I'm sorry, by... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm so confused. Sleepyhead. The cart is still not moving forward, though. Gorgeous Gamer is not able to get that sentry down yet, and KBK is, uh, is a hungry, hungry hippo right now. Interesting spot to eat the uh, sandwich, actually. I kind of like that. He's not standing on the floor. He's not standing on the ceiling. He's, he's just in a nice position. Actually covering a spawn right now, which is a little bit weird. But what are you going to do against a 300 health heavy down here? I mean, you got to walk out with more than two or three players or else just kind of slowly chip away at him. He does get back up to the med, though. And now it looks like they want to walk in through this choke once again. Got to be careful about the demo spam coming in. But there goes Basic. 
So it's time for the Gorgeous Gamers to push, and they are getting through this second choke. They will be able to start spamming down the sentry. The Engineer will keep it repaired, though. And, oh, no, he actually backs up with it. In a little bit of trouble here, but KBK gets dropped. So does Dave AC, so the Uber is counter popped now for the blue team. They're going to keep a lot of players alive, including the Sniper. A lot of Uber time on Biggie right now because they know that if they can keep him alive, and can get a couple of picks. It's going to be a pretty big deal to keep as many players alive as possible on defense like this. So they did shut down the Uber. The Sentry, however, where is it? Um, Count Countula should still have a Sentry up somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Banny wanting to take that Teleporter. It's actually kind of scary to have a med take a Tele sometimes, unless you know that you're safe with it, but it looks like they did know. And still not able to push this cart forward. Only two minutes left before they get to the overtime, and that's not great. It's not going to be a good time for the Gorgeous Gamers, so I'm kind of liking the defense. It's a very solid setup from our team fleet. The, the best little crew in Starfleet are doing quite a good job. Uh, actually, on their roster page, they were all signed up as, like, red shirt number 5, red shirt number 17, and then a couple of them were actually, like, Commander Riker and all that. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Um, but that's not what they're called in this game, so that's too bad. Scout trying to get on there, but once again, that's uh, it's not going to work too well. There's a lot of spam that can get on that cart at any time, so they're trying to keep the cart moving forward, but they're going to have to sacrifice players to do it. Litney coming around for a flank now. He's only got 143 health left, but no, he will connect up with his heavy. And Litney versus Tyler, he takes him down. Gotta watch out for that roller. Okay, Litney is fine. Killing Tyler's gotta feel pretty good in a 1v1 situation. And now he goes for the pill on Banny. That's a nice one. So this defense from Fleet Street, I'm sorry, not Fleet Street. You get the idea, though. This defense from Fleet is doing so well right now. They're able to push forward whenever they need to. And he's in a little bit of trouble, but he even takes down that spy. And now Truck Truck is in behind. He could get the stab, and he does. Taking down the sentry is going to be really important, unless that pyro has a uh, home wrecker. And no, he does not. So there you go. The sentry's down. Dread Pyro Romeo going to try and defend this, but that's a really important pick for the sentry and the engineer because it's not going to get rebuilt. Uh, and the cart is getting pushed. You see that down there. The heavy sees it. He wants to get down and try to stop this. Might be too late. The Uber is over now for his team. They are able to stop the cart temporarily, but there's a pyro coming in after him. There's a lot of flanking action going on, and Lasky's the only one dead so far. Truck Truck once again respawning, and he's going to start probably just pushing the cart right now. Nobody be able to get on top of him. He might use a dead ringer to push the cart more, but so far, no. It looks like it pretty much is going to be the cart pushed. Dave AC coming in for the kills to finish things off. Yogafer and Biggie are the only ones left, and no, that's not going to be it. But Look at that time. That's like the worst time I've ever seen on Swiftwater. No offense, Gorgeous Gamers, because you're a good team. But that is not a good time. So we're going to have to see what happens in this setup here. Um, I'm wondering, do you guys really care too much about the setup? Uh, let me know in the comments, because we could always just fast forward the setup time and make things really, really nice and fast. Uh, also, let me know if you like me splitting this video, because I was sent this video in three parts. I think I'm going to upload it in three parts. I'll upload them all at the same time. So if you're if you're watching, you know, you're one of the people who likes to watch as soon as they're uploaded, like overnight, um, then you know they're 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 all going to be uploaded in sequence. They're going to be uploaded at the same time. But let me know if you like them being split because it's it's not a huge deal to me either Mission way. I, YouTube isn't really ever going to like make me you know massive amounts of money. But splitting a video actually you know m might make it jump from you know four dollars per video to like six or eight, depending on how many people click through the next, you know, next half and next round or whatever. So, I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world for me. But if it's the worst thing in the world for you and you really are disappointed in the fact that it's split, then let me know and I'll just kind of wrap them all together for the next one. I, I don't want to drive you people away from competitive TF2 just because I'm splitting vids like this. Um, anyway, it's time for defense now for the Gorgeous Gamers. And, oh, nice kill on Dread Pirate Romeo. Sleepyhead doing a pretty good job up here in the, uh, the house. But I don't know if he's going to be able to get away with too many more kills here before he's taken out by a spy like DL Man or an enemy sniper. Who knows, man? He's got some good aim on him, though. Uh, a lot of damage coming in on the sentry, but it should be okay. Not sure what Sea Bear's doing with it right now. I think he might have picked it up. But yeah, DL Man is coming in here, and Sleepyhead actually was killed by that sniper. So what are we talking about here? That's exactly what happens. Uh, sentry still heavily damaged, and now it's getting sapped. So there it goes. Taken down right away. This is a very good offense right now. Uh, the only problem is they were able to let the scout get in, and now the counter Uber popped out. So Banny and KBK are going to do some damage here. Uh, popped up in the air by Yogafer, but I don't think that was actually necessary for Pyro. He probably should have just tried to save himself. Now, Banny is in some trouble. He's at 40 health right now, and basically coming up for the kill. Gets that kill. 
So it was an interesting little play there from Gorgeous Gamers, but they should have had an escape path because not having an escape path is actually going to be a pretty big deal. The Sappers taking down Seabear's Teleporter, so that's going to be a pretty big deal as well. They're going to have to set up on the second point right away. And DL Man, he's feeling pretty solid right now. Eight health, he needs to uh, so probably grab some of the health kit or something, but whatever, he'll do that. Why are we on the DL Cam? I don't know. But he did, of course, sap that teleporter, and he's been playing a pretty big role for his team, for the, the crew of Starfleet. And now Lansky's down already, so there's uh, there's no scout here. Gorgeous Gamer's going to have to defend the second point. The second point's a pretty easy one to defend if you do it right, but Seabear does. Oh, a nice little hit on DL Man. DL Man's still alive, though, so he's going to be using that dead ringer pretty soon. Truck Truck coming in behind the enemy lines, though. And if he can... Wow, the scout spotted him, but it didn't matter. He got the kill on creep anyway. Not good enough communication or something, I guess. Um, he, he went ahead and decloaked like, right in front of that scout, which is kind of hilarious. So, yeah, managed to get the kill. That was a nice kill by Truck Truck. And now we're on the sleepyhead cam, so oh, I, I would have assumed there was going to be a good, uh, good series of headshots at you, but sometimes there's not. You never know. Tyler getting a good kill on Yogafer there with the pills. Pills do so much damage. It's ridiculous. 100 damage per pill, and if you hit all of them, you are, like... The god of death. Uh, Sleepyhead going for the sign kill, protesting the existence of Litany. And now he's going to protest the existence of DL Man as well, taking down two players with the, uh, what do you call that? Oh my god, what is that weapon called? Um, the Conscientious Objector, that's right. And now he's going for even more kills. So yeah, Sleepyhead is, uh, is doing some crazy, terrible, terrible damage to the enemy team. Tyler taking the Uber from Fanny. It's not something you thought you'd hear every day, but no. And Highlander, they'll do it all the time. And that was a pretty good kill there on Creep as well. So this is starting to uh, starting to shut down the offense a little bit here. But remember that they've got to hold this for another 13 and a half minutes. It's not going to be easy to do. Plus, you see uh, you see you know, DL Man getting in here. Now, CBR knows he's getting in here, but he doesn't know exactly where he is. And DL Man somehow managed to... Uh, Actually, he could just, yeah, unclose. Disguise is a scout. Interesting disguise there to use because it will make the enemy think it's just a scout there and not a spy. I like that. Uh, DL Man actually very smart about the disguises right now. Now, Tyler taking on so many players, though. Destruction at the gates. Very good sticky trap. So even though the cart has been capped, there will be some extra routes, I think, opening up for the blue team. They're still going to have some difficulty getting this cart pushed. So Gorgeous Gamers are not out yet. They've lost two points in the first five or so minutes or something like that, but they've got a good defense set up here in this top area, just like their opponents did. They've got like four players up here, they've got spy checking for the pyro, this is good Highlander play. Uh, now Sherman Stein did take down Lansky Truck Truck though, and he has been killed, but there are two players down for the defense, and there's only a level one sentry up right now. Seabear, I'll tell you, Seabear gets a little bit upset sometimes, and I would too as an engineer in Highlander against any sort of good team. It's tough. Um, to get a sentry up to pass like level one when you've got this much damage coming in. Now, everybody from blue team though is focused upstairs on Banny and his charge right now. I think they're gonna have a little difficulty. Oh, Banny, no, dropping the Uber! You can't drop Ubers, Banny, pop it, don't drop it. So they say Creep is gonna have 100% now and they are ready to push in. Um, yep, that sounds like the Uber coming in right now. KBK gonna try and walk upstairs, meanwhile. That Uber comes in. And the Uber was not able to uh, take the cart down. Or, I'm sorry, not the cart, the sentry. It's, it's a noun. They both fall into the category of nouns. I feel justified in making that mistake. Just kidding, I'm an awful person. Um, no, they weren't able to take the sentry down. So Seabear's actually got a nice little uh, sentry, or had a nice little sentry location set up. I don't know what happened to it. You know, the field. But he had a good sentry location set up for a while. Maybe the Uber actually did get them in a position. They were able to take things down. But Hero, trying to be a hero and take this heavy down. He's doing so much damage to him, but he's not, not quite able to get the kill. Now, KBK could finish things off, though. He knows that, that heavy is weak, and yes! He's going to spin up and destroy that guy. Then, of course, get backstabbed right away. This is Highlander. This is chaos. It is an organized pub in some respects. Um, because there's just so many players in the field that it's almost impossible to know exactly what's happening when or where. The yeah, um, strategies, especially for Highlander, have to be super adaptable. So you can kind of say, okay, well, we need this person this person with the med. But then what happens if both those people die? Well, you need somebody else with the med. Anyway, um, that, that's a whole... You have to be really adaptable with Highlander. You kind of have to know your old positions, but you have to know whatever he's doing, and you have to know all kinds of stuff. Well, third point's been captured. There's ten and a half minutes left to go. Um, 
two more points left. And this is the new version of Swiftwater. In the old versions, once you get... To oh, Biggie! You're ridiculous! In the old versions, once you get to this little hill here, leading up the, uh, the, the tracks leading up the hill, there used to be a point where the cart would just fall down. And if you wrangled a sentry there, you could basically hold the, this fourth point like all the time. But no, that will not happen here. The cart actually stays still. They removed that whole falling down thing. It was just ridiculous and made for you know, a little bit too much of a stale game. Pyro coming in for the flank, and he does manage to get a good kill. Dave AC using that Roamer Pyro style because he is such a good roaming soldier. He knows how to get the flanks even without uh, even without rocket jumps. Sleepyhead is a ridiculous sniper. Everybody's a ridiculous sniper, I feel like, except me. So it's awesome. I like watching TF2 just as much as I like playing it. I hope you're in the same boat. Uh, if you're not, well, maybe you shouldn't. What the crap? How did he even see that guy? Sleepyhead, you're full of shit. I <laughs> excuse my French. Oh, that's ridiculous though. He's, a, he's an amazing sniper. Truck Truck getting a nice kill on the scout. And now we're going to watch the hero cam, I think, for a little bit. He's actually pretty far behind enemy lines? I don't know. But the card's still getting pushed, so despite all the kills that are happening for our red team, they're not really able to collect enough of a position to, uh, yeah, to defend this third point. And it looks like they really, or fourth point, I'm sorry. They really do kind of want to just set up on last. So Sea Bear is... Uh, he's, he wants to make very sure the last point is where they draw the line. He's got the sentry set up already in that position that his opponents did. Uh, let me take it out to the head somehow. Okay, so he, he knew that sniper was up in there. And now he's going for the kill on Tyler. Not quite able to finish it off, though. He did some damage, though, and he's, he's still looking to do more. Plus, the rest of his team still have the cart pushing, so they're very close to the, uh, the last point right now. And they've got eight and a half minutes to, or even more than eight and a half minutes to push this. So they're, they're feeling pretty good. They're not quite able to push forward with this yet. They have to pop Uber, and that's actually not a good pop at all. But they should be okay. Um, now, as these Ubers fade, though, they're not in a great position. I think this heavy is going to die. Uh, he wanted to actually retreat there, but I don't know why he was still spun up, and the Pyro managed to collect him against the wall. So, Gorgeous Gamers uh, actually got a bunch of nice kills there. They're delaying the enemies considerably, and Sleepyhead once again destroying the medic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Cart is very close to those doors, though, close enough to make them open and turn that into a pit of doom. And we are swapping cameras rapidly, so I can't tell what's going on. But, uh, okay, we pretty soon should settle on somebody. Looks like we're going to settle on Tyler for a little bit here, as he does manage to take down Shermanstein. No problemo right up here on this, uh, this forward area. you got to be careful not to let the cart get pushed too far. But as long as they can keep the cart from getting pushed and still hold that far forward, they should be okay. Uh, DL man sitting... Oh, no. Oh no, DL man. No, he gets that ridiculous telefrag on Sea Bear. Sea Bear standing on top of the teleporter. You can't do that. Of course, he he learned his lesson after that one. Yeah, we were talking about that one as well on um, on fully charged. He learned his lesson. I know, but uh, that's a pretty sick telefrag from DL man. That of course means that the sentry's down. It's probably going to be the round over pretty soon here, uh, and that will mean, of course, that our good friends on the gorgeous gamers will have lost this round. They do for some Uber though. Uh, and, and they're actually destroying opponents pretty effectively here. Litany laying down the sticks. He's going to do a lot of damage. The Uber is now out for the blue team. They should be able to kill so many players right now. Um, oh, what a huge kill by Litany. Three kills with one pill because everybody was standing on the card. And that is that. Five, five points captured in a much better time than Gorgeous Gamers. Uh, Gorgeous Gamers, you're going to have to try a little bit harder here, my friends.